Hello, my dog fans. You join me having a Wait, big savory breakfast. Savory rice porridge. Would you? Um, four pieces of toast and a bowl of cereal because today we were on a seven-hour bus journey, and uh, we were planning on stopping for lunch, but it was only going to be kind of you know local um, fried rice and chicken or something, so it wasn't going to be super substantial. So I was all prepared. Anyway, I saw this giant spider <laughs> uh, outside the bathroom, so I was happy to be leaving. Uh, didn't, didn't want to stick around, to be honest. Anyway, here we are on the bus. I got the same seat as before. Very good seat, very nice, very nice. Um, and then we stopped off at a rest stop. And it had a, I don't know, there was a, a kind of a view. This is pretty representative of, you know, Laos roads, to be honest. So I thought I'd include it. Then got back on the bus. Lots of knees today. <laughs> because there was um, lots of, I was looking at my knees a lot, to be honest. Anyway, then we got to, like, the top of a mountain. We had to, like, turn off the aircon so that the van had the engine power to get up. But it did it. Well done. And then uh, we saw this dog. It needed some water, so this is our tour guide bonding with the dog. Um, and then I saw this gang member fall out of a van. Fortunately, I can report that some children did pick it up and put it back in the van. So no one panic. Uh, here is Maddie's food. I didn't actually order any. I just kind of have a bite of hers. Um, because... Yeah, I don't really get hungry at lunch, you know, don't really eat lunch, so I thought I'd just power through and that was fine because it meant I could have a nice big dinner this evening a bit less guiltily. Guiltily? Yes, guiltily. Back in the van, this time we stopped at a rest stop which had rice fields. Um, so that was actually quite cool. Very green, very nice. Kind of reminded me of like, well, all of Southeast Asia, but also of Sri Lanka where they, uh, with the tea leaf, tea leaf? He leaves on the tea farm. Anyway, then we arrived at the hotel, and now I have to say, I did splash out on $80, $80 worth to upgrade us for the next two nights uh, because we were meant to be in like some group sharing rooms, which is fine. You know, if it was me by myself, I'd have absolutely no problem. But it was going to be split like boys and girls, um, which means Maddie and I wouldn't be in the same room, which is a bit lame. So I was like, well, you know, might as well. Don't think it would be like too bad or anything, but you know, we just don't like being apart from each other. So, you know, and also <laughs> it worked out well because this bed is very comfy. Our room is huge. And actually we're spending like um, the next couple of evenings whilst we have that, well, I'm, well, the evening I'm currently experiencing and tomorrow evening uh, are actually kind of chill evenings. In the um, here's Maddie writing some writing postcards. Fire, actually chill evenings um, yeah. before we go on the like boat trip and do the homestay and stuff. So, big? you know, it's not the end of the world to have a bit of a relax no now. This is a, this big. there's not much. Um, to do in the evenings, so might as well be comfy and watch The Mentalist. Uh, anyway, then we went on a walk. That was our giant key, by the way. That was our key. Vietnam. So it's lucky Maddie has a big bag. Um, went on a walk, saw the Vietnamese consulate. Don't um, touch the monk. Posted some postcards. Don't touch the monk. Um, and then had an ice cream. Um, and saw this cool square. It was colourful. I think I like flags, which are colourful. Um, I mean, I probably wouldn't want this like on, you know, on the road I live on, but it's cool to have it nearby. Um, <laughs> wonder why I took a picture of this, eh? Or took a video even of that. Ooh. Anyway, the night market, um, but it was actually a late afternoon market because we got there like right as it opened. Um, and then we saw this. Now we're in Lao Prabang and apparently this is the Prabang part because it means it's like an image of Buddha that the king prays to or something. And that's where it is. So that's why it's called, like, whatever it is, Lao Prabang. Whatever, the Prabang part is the key part, okay? It's a cool statue. Anyway, then we walked up some steps past this cool statue um, to catch a view of the sunset, but we didn't actually stick around until sunset because it was really busy up there and, like, you know, I don't think Maddie, Maddie wasn't too bothered. <laughs> you know. It was also quite, like, um, it's really smoky. It's like they're burning lots of um, foliage and stuff to prepare for the rice season. Um, rice planting season or something. So all of Laos is smoky. Or it's pollution. I don't know. But it certainly felt... It felt like I was in a bonfire <laughs> at the top. Um, so make it that way you want. Anyway, I saw the Mekong and the other river that's near here. Then saw the sun go really red. So, you know. Am I a firebender? Susan's Comet. Hmm. Shout out Avatar. Saw a bell on the way down, which I'd missed on the way up. Um, then we got Maddie a little smoothie. I think it was mango and passion fruit. She was very happy. Said this was one of the best she'd had. 
So, and to be honest, I had a sip too, and it was so good. Normally, I don't sip on her smoothies, but this one, we shared it. Um, then saw the other river. This is not the Mekong, but it was a cool river. There were some dudes doing some like rowing. Uh, kind of looked like dragon boat rowing or something, so that was pretty gangster. Dang. I think this is a Durian, the king of the fruits. I, I don't know, Maddie said it is, so if it isn't, it's blame her. Um, anyway, then we went to an Australian bar for food, so shocker, no Asian food yet again. It's well, is now. that true? No, because that's an Asian beer, a chicken sadly. <laughs> so, wrong country, but you know, I'm trying. Uh, had a pizza and some of Maddie's burger, because she didn't really like the burger, but she liked my pizza, so we traded halfway through. Um, and now we're lying in bed. Man, he's literally asleep next to me. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to watch The Mentalist. Hope everyone has a good day. And adios.